Is your gut health affecting your mental health? The answer is yes. Your gut and brain are like best friends. They talk constantly and this conversation affects everything from your mood, energy levels and how you handle stress. Scientists have found that poor gut health is linked to mental health disorders like anxiety, depression and even memory problems. So in this video, we are going to break down the relationship between mental health and gut health. But first, what exactly is the gut? And what do we mean by gut health? Your gut is your digestive system. It's the part of your body that starts in your mouth, goes through your stomach and ends in your intestines. When you eat, this is where all the food is broken down and digested. The gut is responsible for more than digesting food. It's a home to trillions of microorganisms. Yes, trillions. When I say microorganisms inside your gut, there are bacteria, fungi and even viruses. All these organisms form what we call the gut microbiome. Imagine your gut like a city full of microorganisms. And in that city, there are both good guys and bad guys. And who are the good guys? Good bacteria. They are like guardians of your gut. They break down food, extract nutrients and aid digestion. They boost your immunity, protect against harmful invaders and keep your gut balanced. They also produce essential brain chemicals like serotonin which makes you feel good and GABA which calms you down. In simple terms, good bacteria do a lot of good for you. But what about the bad bacteria? They are like the troublemakers in your gut. When you eat too much sugar, processed junk food or drink a lot of alcohol, these bad bacteria, they start to take control. They release harmful chemicals that can make you feel bloated, irritated or even inflamed. Think of your gut like a protective barrier. There is a lining inside which acts like a wall keeping bad stuff out of your bloodstream while letting the good stuff like nutrients pass through. But when there is too much bad bacteria, this lining can get irritated and damaged. When the gut lining gets damaged, harmful substances can leak into your bloodstream and this is called leaky gut. And it can lead to mental fog, fatigue and anxiety. Now, how exactly does a stomach issue cause mental health issues? As I mentioned earlier, the gut and brain, they are like best friends. They're constantly chatting and they call it the gut-brain axis. Think of this like a two-way highway. Your gut sends signals to your brain and your brain sends signals back to your gut. This happens through the vagus nerve, the longest nerve in your body. It is like a super fast WhatsApp chat between your gut and your brain. Let's start with how your gut talks to your brain. For example, let's start with hunger. When your stomach is empty, your gut sends a signal to your brain saying, I need food. Your brain receives this message and triggers hunger. Basically, you feel hungry only because your gut told your brain first. Uh, let's say you have indigestion. The gut sends a distress signal to the brain. Hey, something is wrong. Your brain interprets this as discomfort or pain, which is why you feel a stomach ache or nausea. But communication isn't one way, it's bi-directional. That is, your brain also talks to your gut. For example, love. When you fall in love, that butterfly feeling, it is real. It happens because your brain releases happy chemicals like dopamine and oxytocin, which makes you feel excited and joyful. These chemicals, they travel through your body, affecting the vagus nerve that connects your brain and your stomach. Instead of calming your stomach, they make it more sensitive, causing that fluttery sensation. This feeling isn't just about love. You can feel it when you are nervous or excited about anything. Another great example of gut-brain connection is stress. When you're stressed, your body releases a hormone called cortisol. Normally, your vagus nerve help calm things down by neutralizing cortisol. But if you are too stressed for too long, the connection between the gut and the brain weakens. Suddenly, your gut isn't functioning well. Digestion slows down and you start feeling even worse mentally. This is why sometimes when you are stressed, you feel bloated or get an upset stomach. It's all connected. Your gut is directly responding to how stressed your brain is. When your gut is healthy, it produces enough of these neurotransmitters, keeping your mood stable and your mental health strong. However, if your gut is in bad shape, whether due to poor diet, stress or imbalance in bacteria, neurotransmitter production can drop. This leads to mood swings, anxiety or even depression. Remember, what you feed your gut feeds your mind and what you feed your mind feeds your gut. Everything is connected, your gut, brain, mood and diet. They all work together in one big system. Thanks for watching and take care of your gut and your mind.